What's up, Seven Figure Freaks? It's Steve. It's a daily dose of Seven Figure Fire. A little later than usual. I'm going to explain why in a second. And actually, the reason why fits right into today's topic, which is mission accomplishment. Mission accomplishment or being results-oriented, results focusing on the outcome, however you want to call it, we're going to talk about it. So, results, results. First, you need to know what is your desired outcome. Desired outcome for today, for one day. What's your desired outcome throughout this day? What's your desired outcome on any project you're working on, event you're you're working on, or whatever? Say hi back there. Hi. We just came back. We just picked her up from school. So, and then we got to get her brother in a couple minutes. So, what is your outcome in the next month? What's your outcome in the next year, the next three years? What's the outcome overall for your company, the long distance, the deep, far out vision for the company? Those are the things you need to know, and then you need to know how to communicate this stuff. And how to make it clear to everyone on your team. That's how you're going to make sure your work always moving towards mission accomplishment and achieving the outcome. So you need to also communicate to your team what the results mean to you. What does it mean to you to get results? Like what would, what would be an indicator that we've achieved our results, that we got the outcome we're looking for? And then also what should it mean to the team and what role do they play in it? So you need to describe in, in details, describe it to them in, in details, but in simple terms. So it's understandable and it, they could follow it and continually follow it for as long as it takes to accomplish a mission. Then you need to be available to help them refocus, reset themselves, get back on track. If they start veering off the track, you need to be the one that holds shit together. You, your management team, your team leader, whatever it is. That can refocus them, redirect them to anyone who needs it to, you know, to point them back in the right direction of the target, of the enemy, of the mission accomplishment, whatever it is. Give them your attention, as much attention as you need to, and then back off again. Let them roll. Let them rock and roll. So throughout that time, when you're letting them rock and roll, you need to communicate clearly and often throughout the process, every stage of the process. Now, we're not saying to micromanage them. You want to just from up above oversee everything that's going on, get updates, give suggestions if needed, get feedback, get reports, get status reports, and keep rolling. Of course, jump down into the trenches if needed. But overall, just maintain control without being freaking overbearing. Keep your finger on the pulse of the direction that you're going in, making sure that you're going in the direction for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year, for that forever towards accomplishing the mission. And how do you do that? By making it tasks oriented, small little chunks, tasks that every single step, every single task is moving towards that goal, moving towards that outcome, moving towards that mission. And we're talking about small missions and we're talking about long-term missions, all of them. So you need to give clear instructions on each one of those single tasks and make sure everyone knows whose role it is, who's responsible for each task that's, that's presented there. Then of course, create a plan and then work that plan, execute it step by step and focus on obviously the priorities, the things that need to get done. Make sure your team's not pro not focusing on the problems and the obstacles and the roadblocks or what can't get done. They need to focus on what can get done, what they did already and what are the top priorities for the next step to keep moving towards freaking mission accomplishment. Then they need to focus on Again, what needs to get done, why it needs to get done that way, and then how it's going to get done. And you need to help them focus on that and stay focused on that. And you need to, of course, make give them, you know, follow through on your part. Follow through on your part. What you say you're going to do, you're going to give them the resources. You're going to give them the help or the manpower. Whatever it is you say you're going to do, you're going to be there at a certain time to do something. Follow through. Don't bullshit. Because then you can hold them accountable and make sure each one of those people and all those departments are following through on what they're supposed to do. Because right, this stuff you're doing is an agreement. This is an agreement, a professional, personal agreement between you and your team. You're going to hold up your end of the bargain. They're going to hold their ends. You're going to shake on it. It's going to be an agreement. But let me tell you this. Your team starts not doing what they're doing. They're fucking up. You can't go and talk to them about it and try to hold them accountable Guess what? If you didn't follow through on what you said you're going to do and do your part, you can't do it. You're just a fraud and going to be a hypocrite. You can't do it. So do your own shit. Hold your own ground. Do what you say you're going to do and then follow through and with making sure they follow through also and hold them accountable. Then, of course, along the way, every step of the way, everything has to be done correctly. You know they need constant praise, constant 
totally gratitude towards them. And that's even just for the regular shit they're doing done. That's a part of their job. They still need thanks. They still need praise. And then, of course, the stuff they do above and beyond, that they go really above and beyond to the next level. Give them even additional types of praise. And and then again, also, that's just where they're doing right. What they're doing wrong, of course, quality feedback. If they're veering off in the wrong direction, give them quality feedback. Get them right back on direction. Step back out. Get out of the way. Get out of your own way. Empower your people. Get set the mission. Train them to do it. Let them know who's responsible and get the fuck out of the way. Move out of the way. And just be constantly letting them figure it out. They hit a roadblock. They hit a problem. We have a saying. We have uh, not even a saying. 50% of the, my responses to messages from my, my management is F-I-O. That's all I'll send back if it's something that they should not be coming to me with. And it means figure it out. F-I-O. Some reason in the Marine Corps, we like to always make uh, an acronym for everything. And mission accomplishment, if you didn't know, out of the Marine Corps leadership objectives, mission accomplishment is number one. And troop welfare is number two. That's that's really all it takes. I'm going to go into detail about both of those and just an example of how I, how I live by both of those today, especially. And that's why this video is late, later than usual, at least. So again, don't and then don't accept failure of the objective, like whatever a little stage, a little piece of the mission. Don't accept that failure for a reason for not accomplishing the mission. Be like, okay, that didn't work out. Hell no. You try it again. You try a different way. You reevaluate. You try a different tactic different strategy you set up and maybe bring a different person in to help out and fio figure that shit out and then of course you need to be passionate and obsessed with accomplishing the mission because again that's a top priority mission accomplishment above all else the mission before the man this is just the way it goes and make sure that yourself and all your team are driving forward towards that mission with absolute freaking excellence at all times and it's going to be your GPS is going to be your core values, your mission, your vision, and, and your all your answers to most of the questions your team has is going to be in your core values so that they don't crumble under pressure, that they have solutions instead of problems. F-I-O. Figure it out. Focus on the priorities that move the needle forward towards the mission success and the overall growth of the company and make sure your team is doing the same thing. Actions focused on growth only and Actions focused on the mission. Actions focused on the vision and on your core values. That is it in order to complete each objectives and mission accomplishment. So now the reason why, this is a little later, I had a coach who needed to travel last minute to go take care of some family stuff down in Florida and he was having trouble getting coverage for a session. There was a couple of people maybe that were going to do it. They're going to try and rearrange their schedules and we're going to switch trainers in different locations, all this stuff. I saw the messages going back and forth. Usually I don't get involved in that stuff. But I said, you know what? I'm about to travel tomorrow for, I'll be gone for over a week. And since I'm going to be gone for over a week, you know, I have my set schedules on Mondays and I love my Mondays and I'm totally, I know exactly what I'm doing every minute of the day on a Monday. But I said, you know what? Fuck it. This is a, a chance for me to first help move the mission forward, which is our first leadership objective. And second, help out the troops. So I jumped in. I trained a session at 915 today. Did it throw my schedule off? Of course it did. But the members loved it because I rarely teach a session. I got to meet a couple of members that have been there for a long time. And I've never actually trained or met in person because of the times they come in. And I'm not usually at that location. The We've moved the mission forward towards getting them their results, their ultimate dream body goal results and the service that they need. And we worked on the troop welfare by helping out, by jumping in the trenches last minute to help out one of the coaches. So mission accomplishment, troop welfare, sometimes what it takes is for you as the leader, even though you don't need to. I didn't need to do that. It's not my responsibility. I mean, obviously it is. It's my fucking business, but I'll be ready to jump in at any time if needed. But it's not my responsibility. There's so many other levels that he would have had to go to where one of those people at a higher level, one of the managers or team leaders, whatever, would have had to jump in and do it. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm about to be away for a week. We're always at war. Why not go in and show my face, jump in the trenches, crash a couple of skulls. Sh you know, sometimes you just got to show you still got it. Give the people a kick-ass workout, show them how it's done, and help out the team at the same time, and help out the troops at the same time so he can go down and take care of his family business. And that's exactly what happened. And now he appreciates that. On top of that, he's bringing a, a family member back from Florida that's going through a tough situation down there. I don't know all the details. He told me some details don't matter. So he's on his way driving back. Thanks me for the session. I'm talking to him about his his nephew. It is that he's bringing back. And on top of that, what do I, I offered his nephew a free membership into the gym. 
why not? Not going to hurt me. It's going to help him. It's all just building up your your culture, building it up, your, your teamwork, being part of the team, helping them out, mission accomplishment, troop welfare, top two most important leadership objectives. Use this stuff, help you out, build your leadership, grow your team, grow your culture, jump in the trenches when you need to, jump back out, observe, and guide, and be the, be the role model. I will talk to you later. This is Seven Figure Fire. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Hey, Midge, want to say anything with it before they go? No! Little freak. Very, very normal children. I will talk to you later. No excuses.